Hello friends, welcome to the new session of PLSQL developer tool tips and tricks for beginners. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to export the DDL and DML scripts of a schema using PLSQL developer. First of all, open your PLSQL developer tool. And connect the schema you wanted to export the DDL and DML scripts. So in my case, I have connected the HR schema. So I'm going to export all the DDL object like uh, create table and uh, all the insert script DML scripts from this complete schema. I will show you how to export those scripts. Go to the tools and there is a menu called export table. Click over here and, and you will get all the tables from the HR schema. If you see here, user has selected as current user. So in this, uh, if you see there are uh, many options over here in this option you have to select sql insert if you select this sql insert you will be able to find uh, so many options here drop table create table truncate table delete record disable tri triggers and disable foreign key constraint include storage and include privileges so in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to generate ddl create table script and the insert uh, scripts of the respective table so first of all i'm going to export only one table so kindly make sure that when you export uncheck this include storage otherwise unnecessary table space related uh, uh, scripts will be by default generated so i have just selected uh, create table and i want uh, foreign key constraint to be disabled before insert so first example i will show you uh, how to export one table uh, by using plsql developer so select the table you want click over the table and uh, select uncheck all other uh, except this create table and i want to generate the incs also so i have selected disable foreign key constraint before the insert statement include privileges so if the table having any privileges that will also come so i don't want that so in this case i have selected only create table and disable foreign key constraints so when i generate this report right PLSQL developer will generate employee table create table script as well as the respective uh, inserts of the existing data. So if you see here, there is an output file option. So click over the open file and select where do you want to save this file. So I want to save as employees.sql. So that's all, save here. And if you see here, there is an export button over here. Click export. That's all. Export has been done since we have exported only a simple imply table which has only a 107 record. So if you want to see here, you can check the log also. So export started and export has been finished. So go to the directory and open this particular file in the notepad. If you see here, as I mentioned earlier, I have selected the create table. So PLSQL developer has uh, generated the create table script for the employees table and followed by all the comments constraints of the respective table. And then if you see before instead, it has uh, disabled all the constraint. Since I have already selected here, disable foreign key constraint. So it has uh, generated the disable constraint script followed by the insert scripts. Once the insert uh, INCs has been executed, again, this is enabling the all the foreign key so similar way if you want to generate for multiple tables you have to select uh, the all the table uh, you wanted to export so likewise you need to press control and click all the table whatever uh, you want and then select uh, if you want a trap table script or truncate table script delete script and disable trigger whatever you want you can do so in this case i'm going to click disable tr trigger as well as delete record as well as and grant privileges as well as so i am going to save this as a all all table dot sql and save this and click the export that's all export has been uh, done if you see the logs see whatever exported it has been uh, locked over here export finished so go to the same directory and do the refresh and you will be able to find the all table script file see first all the create table and the respective constraint and if you come down see we have um, enabled uh, 
uh, we have ch checked constraint disabled also that is why the constraint uh, also generated and then the inc scripts for the each and every table once the inc has been generated and the respective table constraint enabled script also generated so i hope uh, this export of ddl and uh, dml script uh, is useful if you have any doubt on this uh, topic you can leave a comment i have uploaded uh, so many videos related to the sql developer tips and tricks and uh, pl sql developer tips and tricks in my channel you can uh, refer my channel if you like this video you can uh, subscribe my channel for regular updates thanks for watching